cut herself? Yeah, I didn't notice. I mean, I noticed she wasn't telling me about it. She cuts herself on her stomach. And, um, you know, she, her being depressed, I'm worried that it may be even suicide or something. We have um, a picture. Can we, uh, can we show a before picture of uh, Amy? Are we showing it here? Okay. This is, uh, this is what Carol had growing up. And Amy's backstage. Just have her. She's 14 years old. Here's Amy with her her new look. Amy, come on out here. So and I you, wanted to say to you, that's this? it. No more Marilyn Manson. No. Wow. That's what I know. That's what you think. It's what I know. So you, yeah. you are a different person than you were a couple of years ago. Yeah. Right? Yes, you are a big fan of... What, what is it you like about him? Marilyn Manson, by the way, is a male. You all know that. It's a guy. Right. What do you like about him? He tells the truth, and a lot of people are afraid of the truth, and that's why they don't like him. The they, truth being what? what what's, he, what's he saying? That's it. I mean, if you're not happy in your religion, and you're not like totally satisfied that it's not wrong to go out and search for other things and you know it's like and he's teaching you to rebel no, what, what's wrong with that and Mom? he's teaching you to be evil no he's yes, not he no is. he's not cutting is your he, arms isn't he is, doesn't tell people to go why cut did you why, why did you cut it? yourself why did you cut yourself that's a pretty why do you like the serious dark? thing to do oh no, i like the dark i just do why are you depressed all the time i'm not just a lot of the days out of the week just a lot of the you know it's not i mean there are there are more and more pressures on teens these days certainly than there were a couple generations ago but why would you, what would like push you to cut why would why would you cut yourself why'd you do that i like blood what is it about blood you like i don't know i just like it things it's happen. like it's where it's were you when you did this what were you doing i was in my room doing what babysitting well she was asleep your sister how, how old was your sister? Three. She was in the same room? She was asleep, though. In the same room? Yeah. And you're cutting yourself with a razor blade? Mm -hmm. Two, actually. With two blades. And how many cuts? Around 40, 50. Oh. All in the same area? Where? In her stomach um, and on both of her arms. My arms. Her arms. My arms and my stomach. You're 14. I hope you're in school. No, no, she's not anymore. Why not? She, I don't know. She's, she used to be a straight-A student. You don't know? This is your no, daughter? She, no, she just told me. I mean, she's, she was staying with her dad for a little bit, and now yeah. she's with me. And she's not in school? She's going to be going back to school. What are you doing every day if you're not in school? Babysitting. She babysitting? Just came, she, she just I came up to live with me. I babysit my sister. And you're paying your daughter to babysit for your other daughter? I'm just wondering where you're getting the money for your makeup and clothes and stuff and all that. Well, I've been buying it, like I've been living with my dad, so he usually got me most of the clothes. Does he approve of you, the way you're looking? <coughs> no, he told me now that I can't bring any Marilyn Manson stuff over his house. Good for dad. <laughs> so, now you're back with mom. Is yeah, that I why you went back with your mom? No, she was like telling him about when I moved with her. I'm the one her. who got him to understand yeah, about it. Yeah, then she she called him and was talking to him, and then he said I couldn't bring it over to his house anymore. I'd just like to say, if anybody like you likes blood so much, I don't know if teenagers can give blood, should donate some to Life Source. <laughs> that's, that's what I would say to do. I don't like needles. So, the, is the, the liking blood, you like to see yourself bleed, or what is it? I don't really <laughs> care what it is. <laughs> but we don't understand the reason that you would cut yourself. Do well, you like to hurt yourself? Well, it just kind of relieves the pain, kind of. Like, I, I, get I get depressed, and uh -huh. I just, like, need a way of releasing some anger. We got pictures, by the way. Look at um, four childhood pictures of Amy. Aww. That is this one so cute here. Aww. And we have a couple of more current pictures. <laughs> You're the only one applauding. We got it. Let's go back. The one with you, that last one before you changed your look. How old were you in that? Look at this. Four, uh, um Round 12. 12. 12. And now you're two years later. Here you are. What do you think, Mom? It's kind of not what you wanted, is it? No, not yeah. at all. I look better now. I'm not. You look better now? Yeah. 
let me introduce our next guest. It's Jack here who says he knew it was time to ban the Manson paraphernalia when he found out his 15-year-old niece, Teresa, wanted to marry Marilyn Manson. Not only did she want to marry Marilyn Manson, she has taken it so far that they have mutilated cats. They were drinking the blood, tasting the blood. The look, the look is unbelievable. I mean, the makeup that they wear on their face, why would they want the look of death? I just can't figure that out myself. It's beautiful. Uh, beautiful people. There's a song about beautiful people that Marilyn Manson portrays. Apparently, he is looking in the mirror at himself because he is far from being a beautiful person. He is a sick, sadistic pig, and what he is doing to our kids is ridiculous. This man needs to be banned. So that's kind of scary. When, when you get into animal mutilation, they say that's not a good sign when kids are into that. That can lead to other things. Yeah. No, my question is to you, Jack. Um, I listen to a lot of different types of music. I also like some of the things that Manson does, but have you ever listened to the lyrics of the song, The Beautiful People? As a matter of fact, I have. Okay. Do you, to the do lyrics. You, do you understand the, the principle of what he's saying? The kids are portraying the lyrics and taking it and listening to what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. They're not hearing the lyrics because that's the same way it is with a lot of music. And the production companies need to put a lid on the type of lyrics that are going out because these kids but are the killing themselves But is the album labeled? Yes, the album is labeled. That this guy is putting out. But see, you're older. They don't do that yeah. on the label. You're old. How old are you? I'm 23. You're 23. Your interpretation is going to be a lot more mature than a 13 or 14 year old who might take it literally and mistake fantasy for reality. Indeed. Indeed. I think that one thing that can be said for a child like Amy, Amy seems to be very intelligent, and you seem to know what you're getting into, but at the same time you need to be careful and uh, control or have your, help, help, have your mother help you to control some of your influences and watch out and just make sure you're not getting yourself into something that can be detrimental to you later on in life. That's cool. You're, say, you're saying that the music, it's okay to have the music, but the parents should know what they're listening to. We, we're going to show you some lyrics a little later in the show. We want to bring out Teresa, and we'll show you a picture um, of how Teresa used to look. This is her, her former look. Teresa, come on out here and join us, would you? So Why Teresa, would a person want to look like this? Tell me. What, what is, what is the truth? Yeah, well, she looks like a freak, Jenny. She's beautiful. No, you see, that's where you're wrong. You see, because Teresa is a beautiful person, but she needs to take the makeup off to see the beauty that's inside of her. She was actually very nice. We talked backstage a little bit, and you're, she's a very nice lady, but you also say you want to marry Marilyn Manson. You would marry him if you had a chance. Yeah, I would marry him. And have his who children. Wouldn't? And who yeah. wouldn't? He's fine. Yeah. She wouldn't marry Marilyn Manson. Not on this planet, not if I'm around. Okay. It wouldn't happen. What's, what's, what's the physical... Like marry him if I want to. It's not like. What's the physical attraction to Marilyn Manson? Why do you find him attractive? Because he's just like cute. I just like. Okay. We have a picture, by the way. Let's just in case you don't know. Here's a picture of Marilyn Manson, the man that this lady says she'd like to marry and have his children. <laughs> you also have cut yourself too, right? Yeah. With a razor blade. I Say like stuck um, needles in my nipples and like <laughs> like that and like squeeze the blood out. <laughs> Can we ask why? Because I just felt like it. I just like wanted to. You just felt like it? Yeah. Did it hurt? Kind of, yeah. Kind of. We got pictures. We'll, uh, we'll go back a little bit here with Teresa. Take a look at some younger pictures. Three, three sort of childhood pictures. Wow. Uh, let's, can we, let's go back a little bit if we can and get a, a sort of a split screen here of uh, Teresa. Teresa before and Teresa after. It's a makeover, but not exactly a Jenny Jones makeover, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's one thing to be a fan. I happen to like Marilyn Manson's music myself, but this is just a little bit extreme, don't you think? No. The problem is Marilyn Manson extreme. takes it to the extremes, and that's what he's doing for money. These kids don't seem to realize that this is a publicity stunt. I don't he's think not that this for is real. at all they attractive. He's for real, but he's not. I think the you're just going a little bit real. too far. Marilyn Manson is fake. When the, hey, I got news for you. When Marilyn Manson's dead, God's still going to be here, and he's the only person who needs our hearts. Period. That's it. Nobody else but God, because God is the only person we need in our homes and our lives to create among our children, to let our children realize that I this is the kind of life we need, not hate, I bet, not things I bet, like this. I bet I mean, if, if, if Marilyn Manson did die, that uh, there would be a lot more suicide than there is now. 
And there would be a lot of people be. really, really upset. People say, people say, you know, it would be better for the world, but I think it would kind of take a turn for the worse. And he says that it's unattractive. Well, my boyfriend is like with me right now, and I'm engaged to him. Mm -hmm. But he, he doesn't, he doesn't like the way I dress and stuff. But he loves me for who I am. So you and your boyfriend does not like the way she dresses. Yeah, but he still loves. And he's me a real nice kid. Wait a minute, you're, you're. You're 15 years old and you're engaged? Old. Yeah. Her How? boyfriend's 14. He's four, your boyfriend's 14? Yeah. And you're engaged? She says that when she gets married... Who, who, are she living with you? Yes, she is. She says when she gets married, she's going to go to Oregon to a place... No, Seattle. Oh, Seattle. <laughs> it's in... Okay, Seattle's in Washington, excuse me. Wait a minute, she wait a minute. You're, you're saying she's engaged like it's okay? She's 15. Because she's not going to... As long as she's in my home, she won't be getting married. In my home, see, I have five other kids. Yeah. And this will not go on. It don't exist. Marilyn Manson is not allowed on my television. He is not allowed in my home. If I even hear the first note of one of his, any one of his songs. But where are you listening to his music? Where are you listening to, Teresa? I like, when he's not home, I listen to it on, like, the TV, like MTV and stuff. And, like, I go to my friend's house and listen to it. I listen to it. Like, I get CDs from my friends and stuff, uh -huh. and I listen to it on my are CD Are you in player. school? Mm-hmm. You're in school? He's, yeah, he put me in school. We'll take a break. We want to hear what happened to this cat. We'll also come back with a girl who says that, a woman who says her little girl used to wear pink clothes and display angels in her room, and now her room is filled with 500 Marilyn Manson posters and Barbie dolls with fake blood. They're back, and they've got a new attitude on Jenny Jones. Wednesday. See daughter's looks. Call 312-836-9451. Marilyn Manson is like the devil, and I and he has my daughter, but I'm doing everything in my power to try to get her back, and which is now it's tearing me apart, and it's tearing her apart because she she doesn't know what's going on. People who say Marilyn Manson is um, a bad influence are like total idiots. I mean, they don't they don't understand what's about. They don't try and understand. All they do is take rumors and take whatever negative stuff they can get and put that against you. We're back talking about Marilyn Manson, who, in case you haven't heard, is uh, is a guy. We're going to be going through some of his lyrics in a little bit. Uh, some of the uh, guests today say that they are. Uh, he's a bad influence on their children. This is Josie. She says her 13-year-old daughter Jolene is so obsessed with Marilyn Manson she actually beat up a girl at school who called him names. Yes, she did. Wow. And she's 13? She's 13. She's my only child. And um, she's failing every single class. She's, she's failing her classes? Every single class. All her six classes, she's failing them. How long has she been following him if she's 13? For a, a year and a half. Since she was 11? So, yes. 11. Yes. She and was a straight-A student. She was student of the month. Now she's stitching school because all the kids make fun of her because of the way she dresses. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't want to go to school. So she's stitching. But she's, well, let's see. We have a picture. We'll show you how she's dressing and we'll talk about it because she's 13 years old. This is a, uh, a picture of Jolene before she changed her look. And here's Jolene with her, her new look. Uh, Jolene, come on out. You see what I mean? Hello, Jolene. Hi. You, you, don't, you call yourself a groupie, basically, right? They make no. a really big deal if we're obsessed with Marilyn uh -huh. Manson. But if somebody's out there being obsessed with somebody else, and they go off and, like, kill themselves, they don't blame it on their favorite bands, but it happens to be Marilyn Manson. Mm -hmm. that they have to well, some them. of the lyrics, though, people would be concerned. You, you listen to his lyrics. What are you getting from these lyrics? What, what's, what do you like about it? Um, how he always tells the truth about things and how he speaks of okay. religion and All right. other things. His latest, you know, for those of you who, there's a lot of money in this. He was born Brian Warner. He's a regular person. He's from Canton, Ohio. He lives in Florida now. The newest, uh, the, the most sold CD is Antichrist Superstar. Three million copies sold triple platinum album. He has won awards. He's won an MTV award, Rolling Stone award. Let me just read you a little bit of the lyrics and maybe you can explain what this means. I'm not sure what it means. This is from Andy Christ Superstar. Saw heaven and hell were lies. When I'm God, everyone dies. 
Scar, can you feel my power? Shoot here and the world gets smaller. Okay. What does that mean? It means like he's seen that heaven and hell are lies and that if he ever became God, maybe he wanted to... Okay, so that. you're saying that there's no heaven, no hell. Do you believe in God? No. You don't? No. He's blinding he's our kids. You grew up... No, he's just teaching us. You grew up with the Bible, no, though, didn't you? teaching yep. you wrong. Right? How she could you not believe in heaven and hell and believe in being a Satanist? Yeah. I don't make sense. Yeah. He's wrong. I don't think he's wrong. Is it true you beat up a girl because she called him names? I beat the crap out of her. Uh, yeah, she did. Yeah. You think that's you think it's okay to beat somebody up? Well, she ripped up a picture and threw it on my seat and wrote all these names mm -hmm. about him. I got her and I kicked. Well, if he's about if he, if Marilyn Manson's about freedom of expression, wasn't that wasn't she entitled to freedom of her expression? Yeah, but you know that's kind of way off to do that to me because she knows okay. how much I like Okay. It. We do want to go back though and hear about your your uh, cat rituals if you don't mind. The, did, did you what you do with this cat? We were like really bored and so we were walking down the street and it was like raining and stuff mm -hmm. and we like saw a cat on the street and my friends all, well let's pick it up and take it to the house and stuff. A I was dead like, cat. Okay. Yeah, and like we picked it up by its hind legs and we took it to her apartment and like she, we were like really bored and we were just sitting there and like she was like you want to cut it open and so she just like they were just cutting it open and stuff i wasn't participating in the, the cutting uh -huh. but i did stick my finger in there and swirl my finger around a couple times and slick it <laughs> talk about cat scratch fever uh -huh. she hung them up by their feet yeah and put blood on them as if they were dead yeah you know, i know you're laughing but you know if that was your 13 year old I think I'd be a little scared, huh? She's single. Right? What in the right mind would make you do something like this? I mean, why? You know what? No more. I'm taking back control. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. No more. How do you, how do you feel about that, Joni? I know she's angry. You're upset with your mom? Huh? Here's what it used to be like, by the way. We got f take a look. We got five pictures. Okay. Aww. Here's uh, that's when she was Jolene. in ballet. Aww. Okay. From that to this. And you've even been to two concerts, right? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get the money for that? My parents. Okay. We'll, we'll talk. We'll come back from break. Also meet a teenager who says the one thing that Marilyn Manson taught him is to worship Satan. They're king of the castle. They're back and they've got a new attitude on Jenny Jones. Wednesday. Are you the mother of a teen girl who is harassed by her classmates because she's a beauty pageant winner? If your teen daughter is teased and harassed just because she competes in beauty pageants, call 312-836-9457. Come to a live taping of The Jenny Jones Show. Somebody lied to you, sister. You need to sit yourself down. Call 312-836-9485. Marilyn Manson has uh, caused her to write, inside a Bible, she would take a Bible and write satanic symbols inside of the Bible. She would uh, write lightning bolts upside down with the symbol that he has, his antichrist symbol, the things that he does. I think the man's sick, repulsive. I think what he's done to my niece, Teresa, is he just, he, he should not be allowed to do the things he's doing to our children. I want you to meet our next guest, Jill. She says that Marilyn Manson turned her only child into an outrageous-looking, gender-bending Satan worshiper. How, this is your son. This is my one how, and only. How old? He's 19 now. 19? Yes. Uh, he's so heavily into Marilyn Manson that uh, 
he works, his paychecks go on all Marilyn Manson stuff. I mean, he can't even account for anything. It's Marilyn Manson magazines, Marilyn Manson posters, CDs, T-shirts. I mean, it's, it's out of control. Let's remind you, you what your son used to look like. Take a look at a, a former picture of Matt here. Okay. He was blonde. Well, he's not blonde anymore, I don't think. Come on down here, Matt. a son? I do not call this a son. Okay. You're you, uh, scary. You're the, you're the oldest panel member we have today. So you're 19 going on 20. Is it safe to say going on 20? You, yes. feel, you feel connected to Marilyn Manson, right? Yes. What's the connection? Because he brings out the, the feelings inside you. He don't let you he lets you explore other minds instead of just one person's mind. Okay. Oh, he lets you explore. You said Satan's you hear mind. yourself in his lyrics. Yes, I do. What, what, where are you in his lyrics? How do you hear that? Because when he says, take your hatred out on me, everybody looks at me and takes their hatred out on me. Because I looked strange and unusual because I dress weird. You said you, he taught you that you are your own God and Satan lives inside of you. Yes, because I think everybody looks at me and says, I'm Satan and all this stuff because I dress up and make up and stuff. Uh -huh. What, is wrong for a guy to dress up in makeup? No, I mean, it depends if that's all you're doing, but if your behavior, do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. Can we ask what you do? I work as a cashier at a uh, very well-respected grocery store around our town. Do you have any advice for Josie, the mom here, whose daughter is also 13? Yes, I do. Go to church. Yes, You hope they change. You can't turn your back on your I child. Your child doesn't stop at 18. They'll, you have to be there when they're 18, 19, 20, 21. He does I live with you, right? He does What's it like in me. his room? Oh, it's, it's a Marilyn Manson freak You're museum. Okay, we have a little tour of the room. Take a look at this home video of Matt's room. Jenny, I'm not proud to say my son's a Marilyn Manson freak. When you walk into Matt's room, let's just say it's a freak museum. Beware, it is time to walk into Matt's Marilyn Manson madness. Matt refuses to have a normal room. He has no bed, but he has sheets. Not to sleep on, but to keep the light out. I know that when Mattel had hopes for Barbie, to hang around for years. They didn't mean from a noose. Matt wants me to spend my hard-earned money on this garbage. I tell him I don't buy trash. I throw it away. We got pictures, by the way, of Matt. Take a look at a couple of childhood pictures. Suck. Stupid. Stupid. Ugly. There he is on his car. Yeah. Is, would you call your look a gothic look? Yes, I would. Okay. Because I guess the look, we've done shows where we actually, you, you wouldn't want a makeover today, would you? No. I yes! 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 No, no, no. I fight you all the way. I hate makeover. No. I do not want to look like all normal comedians. It's not a makeover show. What I'm saying is that some people will say it's just a form of self-expression, but when you get into like rituals and animals and stuff like that, you have, you do ritualistic kind of things. Yes, I do. What do you do? I like sit there and talk to Marilyn Manson. I talk to myself. We have it on videotape. Take a look at this. Jenny, it is time for me to talk to the only two people that understand me. This is the first me, Matthew. I'm here to talk to you about why I think you're the nicest person in the world. It's because you tell us, help me explore my feelings and express my way I feel about people. understands me. You, you feel, I feel through your music. You understand where everybody comes from. And you don't let people boss you around and tell you how to dress, how to look, and how to be. You're 19 years old. How long do you think you'll be looking like this? And I've done this. I've done this ever since I was like 14. Yeah. What do you think you'll be doing when you're 30? I'm gonna still do it. I don't. I mean, if 
even if he dies out like everybody says he's going to die out, I'm still going to listen to his music because he is a well-respected person in my life. We'll leave you on that note. We'll be right back. Yeah. Jenny has changed ever since she started listening to Marilyn Manson. Like, day and night, she's into self mutilation. She started with John. She used to be in, into angels, but now she's into her son. I'm obsessed with Marilyn Manson because I think that he was, like, the best, like, artist in, like, the 90s so far. He has... He's brave enough to do anything he pleases, and he does, which I look up to him because he has the guts to do that. Yeah, what do you want to say? Yeah, I want to know what's next. If you're if you're cutting yourselves up with razor blades and everything, what's next? You gonna blow your head off if he says blow your head off? I have not cut no. myself with a razor jump blade. Off, jump off a building, everybody, you know. That that's just. <laughs> I see. All right, when you cut yourself like that, is it because he does it too? He only cuts himself on stage, and that's just kind of like caught up in the moment. He says he feels like somewhat of immortality or something, yeah. like he can do anything, and he doesn't really know his boundaries mm -hmm. until it actually happens. We have somebody we want to join here. Uh, she says that Marilyn Manson has taught her to be herself. Here's an old picture of Brooke, and here's Brooke being herself. Brooke, Brooke coming down here. <laughs> Brooke, here. Brooke is 16 years old. So the first time you listened to him, was it like immediate? You just loved it the music? It was like immediate. Okay. just everything. Clicked. What does he do for you? <sighs> what does he do for me? Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you getting out of it? I'm, I'm getting a lot out of like a, a personal... It's like a make yourself stronger, take responsibility for your own actions, that kind of thing. You are responsible for your own life. And you have to know that no matter what okay. you believe. And are you then, do you, are you Christian? Are you, do you believe in Satan? I'm, I, you have to believe in one to believe in the other. I don't know. I don't really believe in like God as an entity or Satan or anything like that. I, I'm at that place where I don't know what I want to believe in. And until I find some circumstantial evidence. But you said that Satanism is the most realistic religion in the world. Okay, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. Um, I don't know how much you know about the difference between like Satanism and devil worshipping. Satanism is... Uh, Satanism Are you either one? No, but Satanism has a bad rap because of its name. It deals nothing with Satan other than the fact it wants you to be yourself. There's no ritual, like, worshipping, there's no sacrificing. Devil worshipping is when they actually sacrifice for other... Okay. To f but you're not saying that you're either one. No, I'm just saying it's really powerful and it's teach it helps to believe in yourself, but there's some points I still don't agree with. We'd like to know how your mom feels about this. Your mom, Sue, is backstage. Sue, could you come and join us, please? <laughs> Sue, you obviously are uh, a big fan of Marilyn Manson. Yes, I am. Right? Since when? When? Um, my daughter actually turned me on to the music um, a couple years ago, and I guess... How would you describe how you feel about his music? Is that okay, I'm glad you asked me that. Um, and I know a lot of these people, they're wonderful people. They maybe haven't heard the music. They maybe aren't. I don't blame them. It's a kind of a scary-looking spectacle. Um, you call him a breath of fresh air. It, he is. He, he, like, reminds me of what it was. I grew up in the 60s. Uh -huh. I grew up with rock and roll when it started. Can I tell your age, then? You're... I'm 45. 45. And um, it's like going back to the 60s and thinking about, I don't want to think about the bad things like Vietnam and the Watts rights and the sad things, but that made us stronger as a country. I mean, eyes were opened, people had opinions that were heard. But you, you know his lyrics. I know. You uh, know that some of them She's better are... with them than I am, but yes, I know a lot of them. Okay. I've got the music. You've I've been to the concerts. Been six states, six You've gone to the concerts. I took her and some friends even <laughs> to a couple states to concerts. And I'll six tell you what. Six states. Six states. I'll tell you the most important thing to me yeah. is, part of the problem today is parents don't share with their kids, and I happen to really love music, which a lot of parents get away from music when they get older, mm -hmm. but if you don't share with your kids and you don't sit down and talk about the music, look at the magazine articles, go see a show, it's But you say you like it yourself, though. Yes, I do. Yeah. It's hard to judge. You know what? First of all, misguided kids and misguided parents. You cannot love yourself if you're cutting yourself. Nobody who loves themselves will cut themselves. Love That's the first thing. Beautiful. Secondly, if you want to, if you want somebody to pay attention to you, then you will do something positive. I have not heard you, not one positive thing you from either one. You are you are dropping out of school, little delinquents, delinquent at 
Okay? Just, the, you know, dropping out of school, you cannot be recognized in society if you do not have something like a backbone, which you all do not have because your parents are not standing up for themselves and for you. Okay? So. I support you on what you're doing as long as you do what you're supposed to do and you take care of yourself. But you three, all three of you girls, you need long-term treatment. And that is the truth. You need long-term treatment. We'll come back in a moment with a woman whose 13-year-old son committed suicide and she blames Marilyn Manson. Good morning, I'm Steve Garagiola, Northeastern United States and Canada, clobbered with an ice storm. Now help is on the way from Michigan. Coming up on the news beat at noon, a medical relief team and crews from Detroit Edison fight their way eastward to help thousands of people left without homes and heat. We'll have a live report. More security troubles at Metro Airport as another traveler slipped through a checkpoint. We'll tell you what problems it caused. And a police chase moves from car to foot after a driver tries to run down two officers. It's all coming up on the Newsbeat at noon, right after Jen. I was injured in a slip and fall accident. I saw Sam on TV. I called Sam. I spoke to him immediately. They came to my home. They started an investigation. I knew right away I had made the right call. They fought for me and handled every aspect of my case. Fighting for my clients is something I've always done. Make the right call. Call Sam. Doors, doors, doors. With so many to choose from, which one will open a positive change for you? At Clintondale Community Schools, earn credit toward your high school diploma or get the training you need to start your career in airline and travel, building trades, computers and computer-aided design, culinary arts, manicurist, auto technology, dental and medical. Opening the right doors can change your life. No charge for classes if you qualify. Call 810-790-2756. That's 790-2756. Morning start early around here. Everybody wants to help me cook. One wants to stir, one wants to flip. Homemade banana pancakes. This is my favorite little secret. Crisco cooking spray. We're into lighter cooking now. It's great for skillets, casseroles, anything I don't want to stick. And Crisco won't scorch as easily as a leading spray. You only have so much time to be together, which is okay sometimes. One more good reason so many great American cooks agree. Great meals start here. Crisco cooking spray. Hey, the holidays are over, but if you're like most homeowners, you're still paying for them. That's why First Plus introduced the Debt Buster Loan. It lets you borrow up to 125% of the value of your home. So even with no equity, you can still consolidate your credit cards and other loans into one low monthly payment. Plus, the interest is usually tax deductible. Give yourself a holiday from all those bills with the Debt Buster Loan from First Plus. Call 1-800-510-PLUS. He says, I'm so ugly, I won't get a boyfriend. Now, these bullies are finally going to find out what it feels like on Jenny Jones. Thursday. Marilyn Manson has made him his little Satan follower robot. That's what I call him. Um, he does... Where he listens to Marilyn Manson's words. Everything Marilyn Manson says, my son does. Okay, we now want you to meet Terry and her husband, Alan. Terry's son, Ben, committed suicide last year. You basically blame Marilyn Manson? Um, I, I think he was a contributing factor. Did you know he was listening to Marilyn Manson? No, I did not know. He was living with you for a while, right? Well, he lived At with me... At the time me. that he died, he was with you. Right. He lived with me for about four months. Um, ben was an honor student. He was an honor student for about three years. Mm -hmm. And his grades started going down. He was flunking everything, um, having a lot of behavioral problems, mm -hmm. detention, things like that. Uh, so we knew that there was a problem. Did you get any sign that he was suicidal? Uh, about a week before he died, yeah. Did he threaten suicide? No, not to me, not that I know of. How did it happen? Um, he hanged himself in our house. In, in your house? Who found him? Um, his brother. He's 
eight now. He was seven at the time. A younger brother? And his grandmother. Did, did he leave a note or did he give any reason? Yeah, he left a note. Um, he just said that he was tired of the pressures of living, basically. Was he, was he looking like some of our guests today? Was he wearing the black and the makeup and stuff like that? Uh, not the makeup, but the black. He, had, he always wore black mm -hmm. t-shirt, black jeans, black boots. Um, he, had his, he wore white mm -hmm. long johns underneath because we live in the snow country. Did you know the lyrics when he, when he was getting these no. uh, records? Ben wanted, um, all Ben wanted for, his birth, or for Christmas was this Marilyn Manson CD. He wrote it down for me, and I looked at it and said, Antichrist, what does this mean? Mm. He says, oh, Mom, it's not, a bad, it's not a bad CD. And you bought it? And I bought it. I had no idea what was in it. <laughs> I did not know until after he died what was in it. I did not, I, I, I have never thought that this exists in our country. I mean, it is, it is demented. This man doesn't care about our children. What do you want to say to, to the parents of these kids today? Um, I don't really want to say anything to these parents in particular. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to all adults. This is our future. This is our future. This is our responsibility. Whether you have children yourself, if you have grandchildren, if you have a niece, a nephew, if you have anybody, any child that you know, we need to protect these children from this demon. I haven't said a lot to our guests because, frankly, I didn't take this all that seriously. I think I, I, if I were 12 and 13 now, this might be me because I cut my arm. I wrote in my biography this year, I cut my arm too when I was 12 years old. I did it to get attention, and I think a lot of this is about getting attention. But don't you think that a parental, a more of a parental role in some cases, if you had known what these lyrics meant and knew more about him, do you think you might have been able to, to intervene and get him some counseling? He obviously, he was suicidal and he was troubled. Yes, um, he, when he came to live with me, it was in October, um, <coughs> we took him to a counselor. Um, and two weeks before Ben killed himself, a friend of his hanged himself. Mm -hmm. And so I think Ben was just so depressed that this music just was the pushed him over the edge. It pushed yeah. him over the edge. The reason I said what I did was because I read an article in, in the Time magazine about Marilyn Manson. And he himself was quoted as saying, parents should raise their kids to listen to an album and know the difference between reality and fantasy. We'll take a break and be back. Taste of butter blended with the goodness of yogurt. Taste of bunch like butter on broccoli with less fat. Bromelin Brown, bliss on bagels, bold and baked potatoes. New Bromelin Brown, taste buttery on beans. And baking butternut squash, rubber on banana bread, a bit on buckwheat, is boss. New Bromelin Brown, the creamy taste of butter blended with the wholesome goodness of yogurt. Must bu -bu -bu be New Bromelin Brown, yeah! First they kissed, then last week they professed their love. But tonight, on Caroline, the wife fights back. I know how bad this looks. Every woman looks terrible without makeup. Julia, you are so... Well, you know what you are. Whoa, this is getting hot. All new Caroline, then... Dateline Monday. He wanted to be mayor, but a reporter linked him to a scandal. Was the story true, or did this reporter go too far? An incredible courtroom showdown. Dateline tonight. Today, people who didn't send the money, Western Union, and the heartbreak it caused. So what happened? My Aunt Leona called. She was throwing a party, and she sprung a leak. She did? Well, her tub did, and I told Mercury here to send money. I did. But not Western Union. Her aunt sprung a leak, and you didn't use Western Union? No, and it took right. forever. And what does Aunt Leona have to say? <laughs> hey, it's your money. Use Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Now that the holiday season is over, it's time to pay the bills. Why not let a loan from Capstone Mortgage help you shrink these debts? If you own your own home, Capstone Mortgage can consolidate your credit card debt into one low monthly payment. 
In January, Capstone Mortgage is loosening their requirements on these loans. Call 1-800-351-7555. That's 1-800-351-7555 for Capstone Mortgage. Capstone Mortgage. We have millions to lend. A child's face seems to always be bright and full of life. But a tragic injury can change that face into one of despair and anguish. By a speeding driver not paying attention, a doctor's mistake during childbirth, or because a landlord doesn't maintain their property. As a mother, I know your child's emotional and economic future is too important not to protect. If your child has become an injury victim, call Lee Free. 1-800-LEE-FREE. The call is free. The advice is priceless. If your life story is better than fiction, or if you have a show idea that you think is truly unique, call The Jenny Jones Show at 312-836-9456. I get a lot of ideas from his music fashion-wise. He kind of likes some of the look that I like, so I've emulated some of his ideas, turned them to fit me. Um, there's just a whole lot of doors that he's opened that were probably closing rapidly at my age that are no longer closed. Kind of refreshing. He causes controversy, and he also shows things in ways that he'll portray, portray the negative aspects of society and make you think about them as to what you can do to fix them. I'd like to welcome Dr. Deborah Cooper back to the show. Psychotherapist, licensed marriage, family, child counselor, perfect for this show. What do you think about what you've been hearing? I think it's not about Marilyn Manson. I think it's about... <laughs> It's about leading. You don't, don't you don't boo our doctor now? Yeah, don't boo no. me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He has a bad yeah. Name. Well, let her, let her, let her <laughs> talk. You say it's not about uh, Marilyn Manson. No, it's not. I mean, first of all, there is a need for attention. So there's a separateness. You need to pull yourself away from other people, be different from them. And do whatever your parents don't like. And do whatever your parents mm -hmm. don't like because to get negative attention. Mm -hmm. It'll, you'll get it somehow. So if you act out in whatever way that is, mm -hmm. you can either be really good and get yeah. it, but if you're really bad, you get more. So yeah. they're, if they get really bad, so that's what they're getting. Yeah. And then, the parents many times can be afraid, and, and it's hard for them to see because they know they want the best for their child, mm -hmm. that they may fear a little bit of abandonment if they are too tough on their child, if they really do heavy discipline. A lot of people said that the parents aren't taking enough control if they take control is, is that what it is? If there was more control, would they not be acting out and dressing like this? I don't see any danger in dressing this way. I do see danger in some of the rituals and cutting and stuff like that. That's a little scary. I mean, wouldn't that be a sign of things to watch you know, out for? Mind you also, they're not cutting themselves to do any big damage, but they want to make sure that they tell somebody that they did it. So it's about attention mm -hmm. there. They're doing yeah. something dramatic. They've mm -hmm. cut themselves as little. It's about they need some attention now. You can get attention in many ways. Okay, so let's get attention by get, getting straight achieving. A's. Yeah. Go out and do some, you know, extra mm -hmm. uh, curricular activities like sports, mm -hmm. like drama, like art classes. Mm -hmm. Do something to keep your time uh, mm -hmm. occupied where you're achieving. Achieving is what's going to increase self-esteem. When you have too much time in your hands as a kid, you're going to get in trouble. But I mm -hmm. think we as adults, all adults, need to know the warning signs of depression. I agree. We need I to agree. Get and it's depression. Yes. It's the depression that creates the problem. Correct. Okay? Correct. So, and, and the children, teenagers, are, they're going through hormonal changes, just like exactly. you, know, and you and I may have gone through PMS but it's at not times, unusual. It is it, it's not time. unusual for a teen to be depressed. Is it what? It's not unusual oh to be depressed. God, no. When I was in my teens, I was T just te had terrible times. Yes. I didn't know what I was living for, right. and, and it's too. not that unusual. Does no, that mean that you should have counseling if your teen is depressed? Should we be worried? It's a different time today. Right. Should we be worried? Well, I think it's going through the highs and lows you don't have to be so worried about, but it's how the child is acting out mm -hmm. and what they're doing to get the attention. And yes, they do go through uh, depression, and you know there are support groups. There's family counseling. is really far better than uh, individual counseling for the child. So yes, when they are having that problem, so if the girl is sticking counseling. needles into her body, the what? If, if you're putting needles into your body to cut yourself, it might maybe some family counseling might be good. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Big time. Right, we'll take a break and be back. Friday. 
diet alert. Want to drop those pounds you packed on during the holidays? Want to find out what your ideal weight is? What are the best exercises for you? Plus, losing weight with herbs and trimming those trouble spots. Watch Channel 4 today at 5. The Newsbeat has the ultimate guide to shaping up and dropping those pesky pounds. Lila cares about you and your family. In her good health report, she'll show you how to win the Battle of the Bulge. Feeling great in 98. Today on the Newsbeat at 5 on Channel 4. Homeowners, it's the last day of the first Alliance Easy Credit mortgage sale today, only we've relaxed our credit guidelines that can put cash in your pocket. If others refuse to help, First Alliance can say yes during this incredible mortgage event. Bad credit? No problem. No credit? Okay. Bankruptcy? We can get you low rates on the money you need to pay off all of your bills, send the kids to college, or for any reason you choose. But hurry. The First Alliance Easy Credit mortgage sale ends at midnight tonight. First Alliance Mortgage. We make it passable. Call 1-800-292-7357. New Faces Skin Care Centers gives you proof, not promises. Acne, gone. Dark spots, disappear. Aging skin, young again. Razor bumps, smooth shaving. Introducing New Faces Medical Peel Revolution. If your skin doesn't improve in just six visits, your next six visits are free, guaranteed. Our specialists can help virtually anyone. Act now, and your first office visit will be only $39. New Faces Skin Care Centers, 1-800-626-9111. Here is an important message from the law offices of Ron Milan and Associates. Know your legal rights when injured. Call toll-free 1-800-RON-MILAN. Do it now. If you've been injured or disabled in any way, call toll-free 1-800-RON-MILAN. Do it now. The call is free. The consultation is free. There is no obligation. You can become one of over 10,000 satisfied clients. Call toll-free 1-800-RON-MILAN. Do it now. NBC News, from the number one morning show in America. This is today. To the number one network evening newscast. NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. To America's most watched news magazine. Dateline NBC. Now more than ever, America is watching NBC News. Got to some some interesting areas the last thing one of them was about depression and Alan you wanted to say something I thought was a really good point about teenagers who are depressed what do you want to say well you know when you got a depressed t uh, teenager uh, you pretend there's a man hypothetically is standing on a roof and he's getting ready to jump and you got somebody on the ground hollering go ahead yeah it'll be better for the, everyone jump yeah. off that thing it'll, yeah. it's better where you're gonna go to me, that's what this Marilyn Manson is doing to our depressed kids. What you're saying kids. is, if a child is depressed, he should not be listening to that uh, to a negative kind of that message. Shock rock. Exactly, yeah. because. Yeah. But you know, just one, just one thing. We this is not an uncommon situation. I just saw a recent Nightline about the Gothic look is more and more popular. We've certainly done shows about it before. As a parent, Dr. Cooper, how do you know if it's just a form of self-expression or for something to be concerned about? Because I think I don't know if I would know if it were my child. Right. If if their behavior has changed, if they are doing things that are not supporting their self-esteem, and what I mean by that is, are they isolating themselves? Most of these are kids they are, though. They